Hello and welcome to our latest product review from Save Me Money UK. If you're struggling to keep up with your ever-growing lawn or need to free up more time to do other things, you may benefit from a robotic lawnmower. Remember, time is money. In this video, we're going to show you how most robotic lawnmowers work, why you should seriously consider getting one and some common questions we had and those which have been asked by others since getting one. We'll specifically look at the McCulloch Rob S600 and how it's punching well above its weight with robotic lawnmowers two or even three times its price. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video when I'll be sharing with you my top tips which you must consider before you purchase a robotic lawnmower and certainly before any installation. I'll also draw some conclusions about the Rob S600 in comparison to other brands offering robotic lawnmowers including Flymo's similarly priced and the more premium Husqvarna Automower models. We're super excited to be bringing you this product review, so let's check it out. I often get asked why I have a robotic lawnmower. Is it because I'm lazy? I usually laugh and then have a great time telling them all the benefits of having one, which I'm going to share with you now. Number one, with a conventional lawnmower, you often cut the grass when it gets too long. With a robotic lawnmower, it cuts the lawn more regularly and often a few hours a day, depending on the size of your lawn, meaning that you have a carpet-like lawn to use day to day. You're thinking, a few hours a day, that's going to cost me loads to run. On the contrary, the robotic lawnmower consumes very little electricity and it's often cheaper to run than most petrol lawnmowers and is significantly better for the environment. Number two, because the robotic lawnmower takes such a small amount of grass off at a time, it encourages the grass to grow stronger and thicker. The grass clippings are barely visible and fall to the ground and decompose meaning it fertilises your lawn naturally without any extra effort and you'll hardly miss the tedious job of emptying your grass box. Number 3. A robotic lawnmower unlike me can cut the grass day or night and in the rain or sunshine. So the days of letting the weather decide when you mow the lawn are behind you. They are also significantly quieter than standard lawnmowers, which means you can run it at night without upsetting your neighbours, allowing you to enjoy your garden during the day. All you need to do is simply program your mower to which days and time you want it to operate. It usually takes me at least 1 hour 30 minutes from start to finish to mow my back garden. At the height of summer, I will often need to mow the lawn at least once a week to keep on top of it. Whilst I don't mind cutting the lawn, it does become quite tedious and I could use that 6 hours a month to play with the kids or do other jobs around the garden or home which can't be automated. Freeing up that time has allowed me to complete the beds either side of the steps and the play area at the bottom of the garden. Number 5. For the larger lawns, some people look to buy a sit-on lawnmower. These types of lawnmower may be fun to use but they are also expensive to buy and maintain with prices starting around £1,200. Not only will the price tag put you off, but with a sit-on lawnmower you'll need somewhere large enough to store it when it's not in use. With a robotic lawnmower you can just leave it in the corner of your garage or shed in the winter as they are so small and easy to store comparatively. This is a schematic of our back garden where we've been using the Rob S600 for over the last 12 months. It is approximately 600 meters squared with an island of steps in the middle. It is on the steep side with the area adjacent and below the steps having a maximum incline of 28%. It is usually cut with a self-propelled petrol lawnmower. Now we've heard the reasons for why you should get one and the layout of our lawn we've installed ours on, I'm going to tell you about the basics of how they work. Most robotic lawnmowers are guided around your garden and large objects like trees, bushes or these steps like in our lawn by boundary wires which are laid during the installation process. The boundary wire can be laid on the ground using supplied pegs. After some weeks the wire will be grown over and it will disappear into the grass. Alternatively it can be buried between 1 to 20 centimetres deep. Robotic lawnmowers will cut the whole lawn within the boundary wire leaving no uncut grass. However I would recommend you complement your lawn edges with a grass trimmer or edger to get a perfect finish. Within the boundary area the robotic lawnmower will move in irregular patterns so that there are no lines or traces of mowing in the grass leaving you with a carpet like effect. Obstacles are generally not a problem. A robotic lawnmower will gently touch, turn around and change direction when it comes into contact with any large objects such as trees, bushes that are not isolated by the boundary wire. For permanent objects or areas that you want to keep the robotic lawnmower away from, it is recommended to lay the boundary wire around them. Robotic lawnmowers are battery driven and come with a base charging station which can be connected to your electrical garden socket. When required, the robotic mower will take itself back to the charging station and recharge, which for most models will take between 50 and 65 minutes. A full charge will generally give you around 60 minutes of cutting time, depending on the model. 
A guide wire which originates from the base station and connects to the boundary wire, usually at the opposite end of your lawn, will help your robotic lawnmower to find remote areas and navigate its way back to the charging station when required, without any input from you. When I first thought of getting a robotic lawnmower, I spent 12 to 18 months researching which robotic lawnmower to purchase. My final three consisted of Husqvarna's Automa 315, Flymo's 1200R and the McCulloch Rob S600. From my research and planning I knew I needed something to handle at least 600 meters squared of lawn, 28% incline and have phone connectivity to allow me to perform basic functions. The budget I'd set for such a device had to be less than £1000. What I read led me to believe that the Husqvarna Automower is the premium product given their long experience making robot mowers. They also offer several more models than any other company with a variety of features including all-wheel drive, GPS, headlights and connectivity with smart devices and a phone app. However, this all comes with a premium price tag with some models costing several thousands of pounds excluding installation costs which are recommended by local suppliers. To buy a Husqvarna Automa, which would satisfy my lawn's needs, I would need to have been looking to spend at least £1,000 to £2,000. Next up, Flymo is a brand within the Husqvarna group, and their 1200R is certainly more affordable and came well within my price range. However, with a maximum lawn coverage of 400 meters squared and a maximum incline tolerance of only 25%, it would not have been sufficient to navigate around our garden, and therefore was discarded. It also lacks any phone connectivity. And then I came across the McCulloch Rob S600. To my surprise, McCulloch is also a brand within the Husqvarna group. The S models are their new flagship range and offer many new innovations and features. It is the first range of McCulloch robotic lawnmowers that has its own dedicated smartphone app available on iOS and Android. The app has been designed to give you an intuitive control interface at your fingertips, removing the need for you to bend down to access the controls or even leave your home. The app is simple and easy to connect via Bluetooth, and once paired it will automatically connect when in range. This means no potential issues with Wi-Fi signal, strength or connection. The app gives you the ability to see your mower's current status and control its cutting schedule directly from your phone. So you decide when Rob goes to work and other instant functions such as start, stop and return home. It also allows you to keep track of any error messages and instant access to troubleshooting and owner's manuals. You can also customise your robotic lawnmower to really make it part of the family. The Rob S600 with its maximum lawn coverage of 600m2 and a maximum incline tolerance of 35% with Bluetooth phone connectivity on paper matched my specification requirement. It was also perfectly in my budget. It also has some added features including a wizard setup which makes installation easy and quick guiding you through it step by step, lawn shield which is an intelligent adaptive cutting system which changes mowing schedules based on lawn growth and prevents wear on the lawn. Drive past the wire is another great feature which as the name suggests allows you to determine how far the mower goes past the wire before turning back. This in turn reduces the amount of grass left on the border that you'll need to cut at a later time. Even though robotic lawnmowers have been around for over 20 years, the way they work and what you need to make it work often generates several questions for people, and I aim to cover some of these here. So number one, what happens to all the grass clippings? The grass clippings are so small and unnoticeable they will disappear back into your lawn and act as a natural fertilizer. Number two, is it really safe around kids and pets? Even though it uses very low power, the blade can still harm fingers and toes or a dog's tail. But a built-in safety feature means the blade will automatically stop if the mower is lifted or turned over. The distance between the outer body and the blade tip is also extra long to avoid feet or hands from accidentally reaching the blades. Even so, it is recommended that you park your robotic lawnmower when pets or small children are playing on the lawn. Number three, I bet installation costs are expensive. Wrong. I was able to install the Rob S600 myself in around four to six hours using the instruction manual for guidance. It's worth mentioning this is a one-off installation process and the time saved on having to cut your lawn conventionally in the long run will be far greater. Number four, does the robotic lawnmower stay out all year round? It is suggested that you bring in the mower and base station inside for winter. Make sure that the mower is fully charged before storing away and keep the robotic mower upright in a dry area free from frost, preferably in its original packaging. The boundary and guide wires can remain outside. Number five, does it work in the rain? 
Yes, absolutely. It will cut your grass in most types of weather and is designed to handle wet conditions. It is however recommended that you bring the mower inside in extreme weather conditions such as torrential rain, storms and thunder and lightning. Number 6. How does it deal with uneven surfaces? Due to the large driving wheels, it can cope with uneven surfaces very well. It also handles slopes up to 35% incline, depending on the model. Number 7. What about theft protection? The Rob S600 protects against theft in several ways. A pin code is required for any intervention and an alarm will immediately sound if the code is ignored when the mower is stopped or lifted. It is also useless when stolen as it can't be matched with any other charging station. The more premium models also have GPS tracking, allowing your mower to be located. Number 8. How long does the battery last? The battery used in the Rob S600 is maintenance free, but it does have a limited lifespan of up to 4 years. Battery life is dependent on the length of the season and how many hours a day it is used. A long cutting season or many hours of use in a day may mean that the battery will need to be replaced more regularly. You can replace the battery yourself with details being found in the instruction manual or take it to an authorised McCulloch dealer to do it for you. Before you start with any installation and even before you buy your robotic lawnmower, make sure you check out the top 10 tips I'm going to go through now. Number 1. Plan it out. Get a piece of paper and draw out and measure the lawn area that you want your robotic mower to cut. This will allow you to check that you have enough wire and pegs to complete your installation. The Rob S600 comes with 150 meters of wire and 200 pegs. There's nothing more frustrating than to find out halfway through installing a product that you've run out of something that you need and have to wait for things to be delivered. Number 2. Measure the steepest incline in your garden. The majority of robotic lawn mowers are able to handle inclines, but they all vary with the maximum they can handle, and it's therefore important to check the model you are buying will be able to cope. You can easily measure this by following these simple steps. Put a stake at the highest point of the incline you are measuring and one at the bottom of the slope. You should then tie a piece of string at ground level to the stake at the top of the slope. Tie the other end of the string to the next stake in the incline. The aim is to ensure that the string is tied so that it is completely flat between two stakes. You will need to use a spirit level and adjust the string until it is level. Measure the length of string between each stake. This is the run of the slope. To calculate the rise of the slope, measure from ground level of the second stake to the top where the piece of string is tied. Having calculated the rise and the run of the slope, you can now check the location of your nearest external waterproof socket in relation to where you want the base station to be positioned on your lawn. The power lead to the base station is around 3 meters long. If required, you can keep your plug in an IP rated outdoor box. Number 4. Create a runoff on your borders. This will help create a safe area for your robotic lawnmower to turn around and allow it to cut more grass on the border. This will reduce the need for you to strim those edges. It can easily be achieved by using decking boards fixed flush with the lawn edge which also leaves a clean finish. Number 5. Before installing your product, make sure you cut your lawn as usual if not slightly lower with your petrol or electric lawnmower. This will help your robotic lawnmower acclimatise to your lawn if your grass is on the longer side. This is also a good tip for subsequent first cuts of the year after you bring your machine back after winter hibernation. Number 6. When installing your robotic lawnmower and laying the boundary and guide wires, use the pegs provided rather than burying them as this will allow you to easily make changes to its position should you need to. After a few weeks and once happy with how the robotic lawnmower is working, you can bury the wires if you choose. This can easily be done using a lawn edging tool. Number 7. Even out any divots in your lawn. This will ensure your robotic lawnmower blades can reach all of your bits of lawn and reduce the risk of it getting stuck if the divot is big enough. Number 8. Most home insurance companies will provide cover for items left in the garden. Our current provider includes a cover of up to 1,500, but it's certainly worth checking with yours. Number 9. Most robotic lawnmowers allow you to adjust the cutting height. I would recommend on first use starting at the highest setting and then lowering the height every few days until your desired lawn length is achieved. Number 10. Change your blades roughly every 6 to 12 months. The lifetime of the blades can vary with many factors, including operating time and size of the working area and type of grass. It is important that your mower blades are sharp as they cut more easily and create less drag, reducing energy usage and preserve your battery. Sharper blades also leave a cleaner cut and can help prevent fungal diseases from attacking your lawn. You can replace a full set of blades for as little as £1. 
The presence of objects such as pine cones, large sticks, stones or roots can also damage the blades or the machine itself and should therefore be removed from the lawn. Having used Robochop for 12 months now, it really is part of the family. It keeps an even cut over the whole lawn and has not got stuck or lost in the garden. I only have to do the edges once every 2-3 weeks and it means I have more time to do other jobs in the garden, which I would not necessarily have had the time or motivation to do before. One feature I do like is the drive past wire setting which I simply increased 1-2 cm at a time until I found it stuck in the play area or flower bed. This has reduced the need for cutting the edges as much and is complemented by the flush decking I've installed. The app could be better as it relies on Bluetooth as you need to be within 20-25 meters for it to work, but it is useful being able to check the status of Robochop, set the cutting schedule and send it in if the weather turns particularly severe or if the kids want to play football in the garden. I would recommend leaving nothing on the lawn, in particular netting, as I can see this not ending well for Robochop nor netting. Whilst it does have a pin and alarm, the alarm isn't particularly loud and I would recommend that you tell your neighbours about Robochop so they can keep an eye or ear out for it too. My overall rating would be 9 out of 10 for this device, which offers a significantly cheaper option for those who do not want to stretch to the more expensive robotic lawnmowers. I would certainly recommend the McCulloch S600 robotic lawnmower to others and buy another one should the need arise. It is worth mentioning that there is an S400 version which covers, as the name suggests, up to 400 meters squared. If you want to buy the Rob S600 or any of the kit including boundary or guide wire, pegs, clips or replacement blades, I've popped the links to the best deals I could find on Amazon in the description box below, which are compatible with most lawnmower manufacturers. So there we have it, a guide to robotic lawnmowers and a feature packed budget best recommendation in the McCulloch Rob S600. One word of warning though, Robochop does not like being undone. So once you've installed your robotic lawnmower, what are you going to do with all your free time? Pop your comments or questions below, I'd love to hear from you. If you find this video useful, please do smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. Thanks for watching, see you next time.